Now the thing the thing that I've been seeing online that makes me uh, sick is that dude they're not freedom fighters. Hamas is fucking terrorists. They terrorize the people of of Gaza just as just as much. You know what I mean? They're just like a a fundamental. Doesn't Hamas fight with the PLO and like people in the West Bank too? At least like politically. I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that. I don't know enough of the history, but I thought I, I feel like I'd learned that at one point that like. Even West Bank Palestinian people are kind of like, uh, for like Hamas. Like, Ethan, you're being intentionally choose. Shut the fuck up. Ooh, uh oh. Did the Palestinians actually take civilian hostage, or is that fake news? Um, I don't the, care. Yeah, the occupiers <laughs> I don't, are I do not, not civilians. That is, that is what it comes yeah. down to. Like, if imagine, French, yeah. like if if Sorry, uh, Germany, you know, let's say Germany, to, mm -hmm. to be non-controversial, invaded the United States, and they they said, you know what? Since I like how they say, let's use Germany to be non-controversial. Like, oh, let's just compare, uh, let's just compare all of Israel to Nazi Germany. Like, that's such a, that's such a revealing moment, you know. Like, okay, bro. There are no mm -hmm. civilians there in the illegal military occupation. Like, the guy is essentially justifying that you could kill any Israeli citizen that you want, right? That's, that's, that's what that justification is. That every Israeli citizen is an occupier. If you kill anybody, civilian, child, you know, man, woman, whatever the fuck, that you're good, any age, you're good to kill all of them. Like, that's insane. We are in an insane timeline where a lot of people on the left are making insane validations or supports of Hamas killing civilians. Um, it is wild the amount of ultra high engagement tweets that I've seen from lefties that basically are celebrating Hamas's attacks or explicitly supporting Hamas killing Israeli civilians. That is not good. And we're like, problem is that it's highly problematic when a whole bunch of white people living in Europe and especially America are coming out as being pro Hamas. Like these people should be bullied off the fucking internet. That is insane. There was some sort of rave or desert party where they were having a great time until the resistance came in electrified hang gliders and took at least several dozen hipsters. But I'm sure they're doing very fine, despite what the New York Post says. What an unbelievable... What an unbelievable statement to have everybody here clapping. Like... Uh, oh, Ela's ready, so we will do this thing then. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Obviously, everybody's heard about what's happening in Israel. Do you want me to let her in now? Yeah, you can let her in. Okay, so... Um, you know... Oh, hey, I'm just, I just started talking about it. Fish, right? The one that's turned into a circle. <laughs> <laughs> I see her behind a little bit. I see the delay. Can you hear me? Hey. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was just trying to talk about it. Okay. So, over I the... Yeah. I, it's a delay, okay. so I didn't realize. So, over the weekend, Hamas, who was the governing uh i mean they're a terrorist organization but they're also control gaza strip they um somehow managed to put together this surprise invasion of uh into israel um and it was you know it was horrific there was so far at least 700 israelis died which is nuts. One of the one of the crazy things was there was a a nature party, a peace party. They actually call it ironically. <laughs> Even his own fan base is saying like, "Turn chat off. Turn off chat. Turn off chat for real. Chat off. Turn off chat. Please turn the chat off." <laughs> oh my god! How little faith do you have? Oh no. And I guarantee a lot of people there were were. Oh, this is paid um, chat too. Pro peace. Yeah. As, you know, who are an, anti uh, Netanyahu and all that kind of stuff. And so, uh, all, two yeah, for sure. They were all young. Um, definitely that type of crowd that is unhappy with the government. And so, 260 people got violently, brutally murdered by terrorists. And the, the, the really sad, kind of crazy thing is that. I don't know if this has changed, but last that I heard, 
Hamas didn't even know about the party. They just happened upon it. That's fucking that ugh. Fuck. Wait, I accidentally closed the chat. How would I bring it back? Is there a way to do it? Oh, show chat replay. Sorry. And so um but that was only 260. They're also invading. Oh boy, here we go. Lots of villages. Oh shit, hold on, I'm seeing it. Join just to say Hamas W. Free Palestine. That's not as bad. That's in but. towns. <laughs> and uh, just going, you know, build door to door and just murdering families. Pro peace just means status quo, right? And a free Palestine, Hamas wouldn't exist. That's a little more. Kidnapping acceptable. children, killing children. Kid Ooh, not terrorists. Kidnapping. Oh, this is going to get spicy. This is their subscriber chat. Desecrating people's bodies. I mean, just the most horrific acts of terror that you can imagine. On, a, an, insanely, uh, on an insane scale, too. Hamas piker. Free Palestine, when he talks about Hamas mass murder as a clear dog. Was like, yeah, maybe, actually. I probably wouldn't. Um, Destiny, you're in top chat mode. Click the bottom on top of the chat window and set it to all. Click the button on top of the chat widow and set it to all. Oh, live chat replay. Is that different? Oh, God. One of the crazy parts was our Elo's invading their own land. Whoa, yikes. Watching Israeli news when it first started happening because the I don't think American news had really caught up yet. But there was people calling in they didn't start it. You're literally describing Israel. From like their safe room or their houses or... Pop off chat free Palestine. From hiding, being like whispering. Like, yeah, it was so hard. And like, I've been watching the... Palestinians are murdered daily by the occupation. It's nonstop since it started and that... Wait, whoops. On that day, it started at 6 a.m. Saturday, and the whole day, um, people were calling the news because they called police, they called everybody, and nobody was coming to help them for hours until, like, late that day, um, which was too late for, for most of them. And, yeah, some I heard awful calls, like moms with their children whispering. Oh, the PS things you're seeing are Palestinian flags. Oh, geez, okay bring in their safe room like i i can hear them outside i hear gunshots everywhere please oh, yeah. send somebody please send somebody oh yeah and then israel has been doing the exact same thing to palestine and nobody cares so families would be locked in these safe rooms and then the oh god i wonder if ethan is going to have like a 20 was it a 2021 destiny moment when did i do the great kami exodus <laughs> oh shit terrorists would light the house on fire mm-hmm you know. So some, yeah, some they just maybe twenty nineteen, maybe twenty twenty. Light on fire. Um, some they ended up getting to some. They kidnapped, and you see stories of um, like there. There's one guy who found. Yeah, well, Palestine has been going. Palestinians have been going through this forever. Israel is reaping what they've sown, unfortunately. And out through a video on socials that his wife and two young children and mother-in-law world israeli government when they torture people until they resort to terrorism Ooh. taken hostage this is the consequence of an apartheid state is um the mom and the children went how did israel become a country to begin with <laughs> i like how it's like harder and harder to distinguish the far left from the far right is that a fuentes comment or is that like a commie comment i have no idea to visit the mother-in-law and he wasn't with them. And he ended up seeing the video of them being taken away on socials. And then he's calling the news on that day. So you just get this info from one side, right? And he's telling them, I just saw this and nobody's calling. 97% of the water that 3 million people get is poison. Hamas W. I mean, nobody's telling me anything. And that's still crazy how 80 years of oppression led to an extremist group doing all of this. Until now, all the families that have people taken from them, they have nobody calling them, like no officials. There's no. 
Holy shit. What do you do you think Ethan he must be reading his chat, right? What is he what do you think he's what do you think he's thinking as he reads through all of this? No, no lines of support for them, nothing. I think the government is so overwhelmed because this oh, was such later. a surprise for everybody. Um Taste your own medicine. Oh my god. This has been happening years to Palestine, but you only speak when it happens to Israel. Dude, it's just like you cannot silence the Palestinian. Oh my! Okay, I'll stop pausing to read. Holy shit! Horrific stories, one after the other, and <coughs> most of this has just been like people, the citizens themselves, creating support groups. People are cooking now and sending other people food. There's all kinds of stuff happening. They're just like people trying to help people right now. So the part that. I, I, dude, I had a hard time being online because, first of all, this always happens in conflicts like this, but every, there's so many fake fucking videos and stuff people post. True. But then the, the other thing that's been really hard is seeing, you know what, let me do this. Before I even talk about this, let me just tell you, first of all, uh -oh. just so it's not ambiguous about how I feel about this situation as a whole. Okay, let me just say this. Fucking disgusting weirdos. Um, <laughs> oh no. I tweeted this. I, I think this was when um, the IDF blew up some apartment building or some fucking horrific shit in Gaza a few years ago. I said the Israeli government's making me sick. Even if Hamas is operating as civilian buildings, it doesn't justify the total destruction of that building. It's inhumane. Netanyahu is a piece of shit warmonger. It needs to go. As a dual citizen, I love Israel and the Israeli people. They deserve a government that actually believes in peace and not force and violence. The ultra-right Jewish settlers are among the greatest provocateurs in the world. They are shameless, hateful, fueled by religious zeal, and enabled by the Israeli government. I wish the settling and reposition of Palestinian land would stop. I wish the bombing in Gaza would stop. Gazans deserve to live a life free of fear. For all the crimes Hamas has committed, we must always remember that they are not Palestine. The Israeli government holds all the power and is on them to stop the violence and show a true willingness for peace. Okay. So, just so it's not unambiguous, and also if you need further proof, I was honored by this Twitter poster. Do we not have the original one? Can you find the original one? She, uh, I don't know how, <laughs> how big this went. PSA for those new to the Israel-Palestine fandom, which is a really fucking... She's being cynical, I think, right? What is the point of this? Celebrities support Israel, celebrities to support Palestine. I see, is that Arnold Schwarzenegger and Donald Trump? And then over here on the right, is, it, is that Ethan? Is it trying to say that, like, cool people support Israel and shitty people support Palestine? Is that the joke, or...? Um, here's an important refresher. I made it to the celebrities who support Palestine and um, and um, very flattering. Actually, a lot of the comments were like, is that Ethan picture real? Yes, it's from a while ago, she said. Um, there is, uh, oh, there's more here. No, that's not real. He photoshopped it because um, the main insult that Andrew Tate types with the item is he's being fat. And then she responded, literally has it on his on his PFP. I'm pretty sure it's him. So there we go. Which I, I like the top comment in our thread on Reddit. Said, uh, especially when their picture is, their profile picture is of Olivia Wilde. And we can plainly just assume that they are not Olivia Wilde in this current moment. We understand that you are from Israel and innocent people are suffering, which is awful, but the Israel is the oppressor. Dude, these chat comments. Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess maybe I should update it. I don't know. When I saw that, I was like, I, maybe I should update my fucking profile pic. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. It must have been deleted. I'm not seeing it. Oh, okay. I found the this post was deleted by the post author, and I found like all of the comments underneath where she's like, "Yes, it's from a while ago," and okay, then someone's so like, they, "No, it's not they real." They realized that it was wrong. Literally has it on their profile photo. Pretty sure it's him. Wait, how do we know for certain though? Maybe he said it because deep down it is him. Just I'm go to my podcast. To I do five episodes this. a week. Damn. Go click something. 
Anyway, whatever. I don't care. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> but the point is, <clears throat> before anyone thinks otherwise, let me just get that out of the way. Now, the, th the thing that I've been seeing online that makes me fucking uh, sick is that just like brazen, uh -oh. op uh, enthusiastic support for Hamas. Um, like this, so there was, even before Israeli responded at all, like the first 12 hours was just wanton massacre of civilians, kidnapping, desecrating of bodies, just absolute uh, terrible, unjustifiable uh, violence and terrorism. And immediately I see so many left leftists being like, um, I stand with Palestine, which I do stand with Palestine, right? But if there's, so if there's a unpro, if there's not unprovoked, but if there's a terrorist attack where 700 people are killed and you're immediate- 1,000 plus now, I think is what we're up to. Immediate responses, I stand with Palestine. What am I, how am I supposed to interpret that other than I stand with Hamas? Israel hasn't done anything. They haven't airstriked Gaza. All that's happening is that they're trying to count dead bodies. But that, I mean, that's not the most gruesome takes, but I've seen a lot of that. And it's- The argument would be, well, Israel's continuing to oppress these territories is like the argument, right? But- It's like, um, it's a ma am I am I missing something? Israel's response to the attack does not include targeted strikes. They are currently bombing civilians. Not keeping it limited to Hamas. It's is okay. I need to do. I need to. What I need to do is start reading on particular Israeli strikes. If Israel wanted to just like bomb civilians, wouldn't they just like destroy like blocks of the Gaza Strip if they wanted to? Like, there's nothing keeping them from doing that. It's not like they have a bronze dome in in Gaza to protect them. Like. Okay, I don't understand what these accounts are. Bro, take a break. Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> Is there, I don't see any other way to interpret, like, I stand with Palestine. First of all, an insult to Palestinians. There's two million people there, and I guarantee you a lot of them aren't fucking terrorists or for terrorism. So, you know what I mean? That I don't think that represents the people of Palestine and does anyone a favor. It just seems to me like they're cheering on fucking terrorists. Um, am I missing something? Like, I don't know how else I'm supposed to interpret that. The only thing that they're, they're saying I agree with is that 700 people were murdered in cold blood. Burned alive, desecrated. I don't get it. It's disgusting. It's actually really horrific. I've seen it so much. Uh, that's not just saying you're pro Palestine wasn't the worst stuff I've seen though. I'm not, I don't want to call anybody out because I don't want to get into it honestly. But I've seen a few prominent lefties. I'm sure. Search for survivors and deceased underway this morning from what's left of downtown Gaza. Well, hold on. I won't say that. Um... I'm not going to say that Israel now is not going to be like bombing whole blocks. I don't know what they're doing now, but I'm saying historically, hasn't it generally been targeted to like buildings and stuff? That, most of the videos I see, that's generally what it is, but. Sure, you'll see, you've seen them all that are just like. Room temperature IQ take. Oh my God. His chat. Whew. Oh boy. They can't. They don't fucking care. They just don't care. It's really sad. That's like really sad. It's like Destiny incorrectly said Hassan had a ten minute joke debate with Andrew Tate at last for an hour. Why lie about that? Why do you say I'm lying? I don't remember. That debate, what I remember Andrew Tate and Hassan arguing about was whether or not women could drive and then like Hassan making a couple dumb jokes. I don't think they argued about anything of substance. Did they? Did Hassan and Tate argue about anything of substance? I remember the woman driving thing and like that was it. Can somebody go check the VOD? How, what, did they really argue about that for an hour? Oh, and then they argued about like science and about like the earth being flat or something.
It might have been an hour. I'm sorry, when I said 10 minutes, I wasn't trying to lie about the length of time. Rope yourself. Holy shit. America and Iraq, we killed a fuckload of people there. Horrific. So imagine a group of terrorists, Iraqi terrorists, made it into LA, went to a neighborhood, and just started killing everybody, going into houses. You're definitely missing a ton of nuance here, respectfully. Dragging them out. Huge L, L. Burning them alive. What about Israel killing people in Palestine? I have kidnapping kids, desecrating- Israel is literally killing Palestinians daily? Killing people's bodies. L take, oh my God. Who's gonna go, I stand with the people of Iraq? Bro. I need to log into my YouTube account here, but I'm too lazy, so I'm not gonna do it. Get fucked. It happens, that's psychotic. I just saw a survivor from the party, from the rave party, talking about his experience, and it's just, it's horrific. It's hard to, it, I think it's hard to explain to people. Oh my god, 9-11 literally happened. What people just went through. Um, but he saw all of his friends die in front of him. They were all trying L, to hide and L take not the same thing. came and just shot L, all chat. of them point okay. blank in the face, looking at them and smiling and then dragging bodies and dancing and playing music. It's just, that's not, that's just barbaric. That's just disgusting. It's just the people's like, has it, their hate for Israel is like preventing people from it's like they're supporting Hamas terrorism. And you see all kinds of takes like, like on one hand, I understand that there's not. Let me pull this up and choose my words carefully here. <laughs> you know, the other thing is that there's another misconception that these people who are being killed are settlers. There are no settlements around <laughs> Gaza. These are just normal ass towns. These are normal people living normal lives in their little communities. The settlements are in the West Bank. Every settlement around Gaza was was evacuated in 2005 forcibly by the government. Those were normal people of very different political leaning. Like some were probably left leaning and some were probably right. <laughs> just like here, how you have conservative and you have Democrat. A lot of people in Israel are not happy with the government. There's There's been so many protests in the last year. The whole country practically has been protesting. And so it's not like everybody... The whole of Israel is a settlement. Bro, I see these comments so much. I mean, in some ways, it's scary. And this attack sucked if you were an Israeli uh, citizen. But I feel like in other ways, they're probably like, look, guys, we told you. They want to destroy all of us. <laughs> like, but... And then you see like justification for it online. That died is a settler that the settlers are like the crazies of Israel. So people make a what I think is a decent point. They say, settle. Ethan is cool for not giving into audience capture and actually speaking out. I don't know if this is Ethan, like Ethan's audience, or I don't know if it's like kind of his audience that's slowly been turned by Hassan though, right? I don't know if Ethan has given takes to build an audience like this, or if this is like Hassan's audience that's kind of like permeated through the H3H3 fan base. I'm not sure, right? Settlers aren't civilians. They're, you know, inserting themselves into this uh, violent clash. And I, I agree with that to an extent. I understand. And so people who are desperate to um, defend Hamas um, are saying that these people were settlers. They were not settlers. There's no settlements around Gaza. These were just normal motherfucking people. Children, family, kids. And um, it's really disturbing, frankly, the amount of people that I've seen just like are like, let's go, let's fucking go. I stand with Palestine right after a terrorist attack. Is, am I crazy? That, that, I know what that means. I stand with Palestine, too. But if right after the, world, the, the planes hit the World Trade Center, you saying something like, I don't even know what to say. I stand with Al-Qaeda? I mean, what the fuck? I guess that's not the same.
I think my analogy of Iraqis invading LA is good. We fucking did so much wrong shit to the Iraqi people and the country. Nobody sane would even disagree with that at this point. And a lot of the same stuff I'm seeing people say about Palestine, you could say, what are the Iraqis supposed to do? They don't have any recourse. Um, this is the only way they can express themselves. Um, you know what I mean? Like they did. I'm thinking like he's going to start rapping. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fucked up. Uh, they, they have every right. Oh, the, I've seen seeing this stuff too. Um, they're calling it self-defense. They go, uh, Libs are like so excited for Palestinian rights and for the apartheid to end. But when they do something about it, then everyone pauses. Like them doing something about it is murdering 700 civilians in just the most horrific way possible. And so if you imagine that a thousand Iraqis somehow invaded L.A. as, uh, you know, as revenge for the awful things the American government did there, right? So we could look at that and say, sure, in a sense, I, I get it, right? And you could say, like, oh, America deserves it, whatever. Like, in the sense of justice, like, I understand that concept that you're getting at. But when they go to a block, a neighborhood of people, and just, again, in the most violent, disgusting, inhumane, barbaric way, murdering kids kidnapping kids, desecrating bodies, burning people alive, and then you're going to go, I stand with Iraq? I mean, that, that's fucking crazy. You can stand with Iraq and also condemn Hamas being fucking monsters, which people don't want to do. It's crazy. You know? And Hamas, they're not... Dude, they're not freedom fighters. Hamas is fucking terrorists. They terrorize the people of, of Gaza just as, just as much. You know what I mean? They're just like a, a fundamental. Doesn't Hamas fight with the PLO and like people in the West Bank too? At least like politically. I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that. I don't know enough of the history, but I thought I, I feel like I'd learned that at one point that like, even West Bank Palestinian people are kind of like, uh, for like Hamas, like mental, fucking extremist terrorist group. And, you know, they also terrorize uh, the Palestinians. They cleanse them from Gaza. Palestinians that that are under their rule. It's crazy, dude. It's fucking crazy, man. It's really nauseating to see some of the people uh you know, just ignoring that. It's crazy. It's crazy. And again, I'm not and now it's I can look at it and say that, you know, Ethan you're being intentionally choose Shut the fuck up. Ooh, uh-oh. People are saying Israel does that on the daily, the idea I don't, does that on the that's daily. That's not what I'm talking about. See, that's what you're doing. You're, excuse, you're, you're excusing people being burned alive and kids being murdered. You're saying Israeli, Israel does that on the daily. Okay? Now, I'm not denying that. I'm not denying oh, yeah. that. So are you I'm in, that. So are you in favor that. of an Iraqi uh, a terrorist cell coming to kill everyone in your neighborhood? Are you willing to sacrifice your life to an Iraqi terrorist for what we did in, in Iraq? They're just going to say yes. Go ahead. <laughs> like you they know? did on Twitter. I don't see the difference. I don't. I mean, shit, America killed a million Iraqis by some estimates. That's a hell of a lot more than uh, Palestinians who have died at the hands of Israel. So, so let's fucking, let's bring an Iraqi terrorist group to your neighborhood and you just go out and be slaughtered and your mom be slaughtered and your kids be slaughtered, and you burned alive. Fucking barbaric. It's horrific. And again, I'm saying that I support Palestine. There's no other way for me to... Fucking, uh, I don't know how more I can express that, you know? Uh, somebody... Here's an, an Israeli, because it's shekels. They say, Palestinians voted Hamas into power in 2006. Ethan, they represent the Palestinian people. Dude, I don't think the Palestinians understood the scope of what Hamas, who they are. Uh, considering the origins of Hamas, so they're like, state of, uh, I'm pretty sure they knew. 
I'm pretty sure the people in Gaza, given the opportunity to march against Israel, would kill every f***ing Jew they could find. I'm pretty sure they would. I'm pretty sure they would. Ethan's being a little bit too generous here. Not to say that Israel's treatment of Gaza is 100% just for anything, but... <clears throat> And I don't. We're not talking about them voting Hamas in like 1958 or some shit, okay? Like, <laughs> think there's been free elections since that happened. It's been, yeah, and 2006 was a long fucking time ago. Hamas, they took power and they stayed in power. They're violent fucking terrorists. And I don't think it's fair to say that Hamas represents Palestinians. There's two million people there. They're not all terrorists, okay? Um,. Gaza is an open air prison. Okay, I agree, but I agree. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So go fucking sacrifice your family to Iraqi terrorists if you care about freedom so much. True. Like, there's just a callousness that I've seen online and support for just violent fucking terrorists that's been nauseating. You know. Standing with Palestine. Oh, there's so many comments. Ethan, please learn more about this. Shut the fuck up. Oh, You're clearly taking you a side here, you loser. The, you can't. I think Ethan has a lot of credibility to talk about it. He lived there for five years and he's married to an Israeli. I, I know you can't. Did Ethan really live in Israel for five years? Holy shit, I did not know that. Care about yeah, trying to like sit in America and think that you know better than somebody who lives in Israel. Go, please, go. Let's go bring the Iraqi terrorists to your, to your block to murder your whole family and then talk about how it's justified. Um, if you oh, that's where I met Hila. I just assumed Hila came to the US or something, but okay, gotcha. I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Care about Palestine? I'm not an OG fan. I don't know anything about the way you're framing it is a really bad take. What that fucking burning families alive is is should be uh condemned? Is that a bad take? Then you need to fucking see a doctor. If that's a bad take, you need to see a doctor. Okay. Like, I can't emphasize how much Israel has <clears throat> um, suppressed, fucking destroyed, ruined Palest Palestinian lives. The worst thing that's so hard to, to def impossible to defend is the, um, the settlements that are government shit sanctioned in the, in the West Bank. It's horrific, and it's it is an act of war and an act of fucking, you know, cultural genocide, and it's and it's horrific, okay, right? And the government of Israel is a colossal failure. Bet Net, uh, Netanyahu is a war criminal, a fucking psycho. I voted against him. Every is there, wait, is there any other point of watching this? Is it just gonna be him getting mad at his chat for an hour? Every time I could, and young people don't fucking want him in there either. I mean, the whole country of they Israel. They hate him. They hate the government. They literally have been protesting. They've been out on the streets like the whole last year. People there are so fed up with the government in Israel. They could not feel any worse about it. They're, they do not feel the government represents them at all. Oh, here, this is a good analogy, too. Let's say a group of native and i'm not saying that these are peaceful people again i'm, I'm only speaking hypothetically let's say a group of native american terrorists come off of a uh, a reservation and come to your neighborhood and start killing everybody dude are you going to be like hey i, su I support I'm not families kids women they what's their only crime is being born somewhere same as the palestinians frankly i mean obviously it's way part of this uh so Think about what they're saying. Hey, the Native American first take is, you know, I support the Native American uh, revenge. It's like, yeah, of course, we su I support Native American. If you knew more history or what was going on recently in Canada, that unironically Canadians were cheering on indigenous people, like burning down churches and stuff. <laughs> so, I mean. Americans too, but like, did you not just see that they killed 700 people? You know? Um, somebody said I found a two. Oh, maybe I shouldn't read that. Did catch my attention though, and it wasn't about this. Um, I'm only saying that from what I saw, there are people on fucking Twitter, prominent lefties, who are so callous, they feel nothing for these fucking dumbest analogy possible. Shut the fuck up. What's dumber? What could be? It's right on. How's it dumb? The Iraqi one, the Native American one, they're pretty much right on. It's war, innocent people die. All right, so let's bring the Iraqis out, Iraqi terrorist group to your neighborhood, and see if you care if people murder everyone you love, burn them alive. You're such fucking cowards. 
such losers. You're sitting here in America. By the way, America, who's, who's probably committed the most atrocious crimes of, against humanity of any recent country. And you're going to sit here and be like, go Hamas. Get a grip, dude. It's literally Columbus Day. That's true. That is an interesting coincidence. I'm sorry. I don't see what's possibly wrong with the analogy. How? How is it wrong? How is it a bad analogy? I think what people don't understand when they say that is like what it means to somebody in Israel who's going through grieving right now with so many people around them and their life as it used to be. It, nobody knows right now what to expect and how long this war is going to last. Like when you come out and say free Palestine after they just lost everybody, they have children taken away from them. That's not if you're really for humanitarian reasons. That's not what you should be saying right now. And we all and I'm free Palestine, too. Right. It's just the timing. I know what it is. You're saying I support Hamas. I mean, that's what you're that's what you're saying. Maybe not even intentionally, you know. But that yeah, is, it might not be intentionally, but that, that is what it means. And that their mission was to kill all Jewish people. 700 fucking... What do you do on Puffer? Thank you. Ah. Okay. I don't have any to watch the rest of this. I don't feel like there's going to be much going on here. Yeah, I'm not too informed on this, um, uh, this whole conflict. Um, so I'm not coming in here to, like, you know, have a point one way or the other. But maybe you can help me understand better, like, what, um, what the outrage that the left is. Because from what I have seen i've seen people on the right um kind of like supporting this a little bit um you know temple um uh, well, jimmy dore really isn't on the right but I, Wait, I, people I, on the I, right Patrick, supporting that, what supporting um like not supporting but not seeing this as such uh an atrocity like um what am I trying to say? Like, so I think the problem the is that a lot of far left people mm -hmm. seem to be supporting the idea that any and all violence against Israelis is justified. Okay, so all right, all right. So I, I wanted to ask you a question about that. Um, is that? Do you think that's inconsistent with their, you know, previous statements on the situation over in Palestine because or in Israel and Palestine? Because I've heard a lot of lefties say what you've just been saying that you know every israeli is considered a settler and that's how they look at it and that's how palestine looks at it so from like from that angle um and with the fact that so much has been going on and this is so complicated um why are you really why are you so upset with the fact that they're like supporting palestine in this when they feel like palestine or israel is like, the bullies in this situation well, I'm upset because their views are incoherent with liberal democracy, right? Like these are people that mm -hmm. inevitably have to be killed, right? Because they start killing us. Like they're championing illiberal causes. Mm -hmm. They're championing killing people that are immigrants to places, right? You saw that weird tweet from that person that said like, oh, if Native Americans started killing us, I would just kind of applaud because hey, like you deserve it. Like that's that type of thinking is really bad. Okay. The same yeah. way that like people on the far right very consistently don't like immigrants and don't like people of color and want to kill them and like, you know, expunge them from their lands. Well, I would say that those people on the right are incompatible with my liberal views, right? It can't be the answer that we support terrorism, right? We can understand it to some extent, but you can't support terrorists. That's fucking insane. And the left already did it with black people over the BLM stuff and now all of this organized retail theft where they say, oh, well, actually all forms mm -hmm. of theft are justified and based when it's against large corporations. That shit is unhinged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't have much disagreement there. Um, I guess where the disagreement comes in, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not here to really argue with you. You said you're in the middle of something, but maybe you can just like clarify for me. Um, I'm not mad because just they're inconsistent. That... I think they're consistent. Mm -hmm. I just think they're consistently horrible. And other people finally, <laughs> even on the left, are starting to wake up to how radical and fucking insane a lot of these people are. I agree. A lot of people, yes, yes. I, people, the left has a lot of radical, insane views, statements. However, with this particular thing, I just heard you say um, that this, you know, it's it, you were sort of comparing it to like the situation in World War Two or like, 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 def like, you know, if this was back in the day, they would be defending Nazis or, or you know, yeah, because, of course. Uh, yeah. So but could so could you kind of like, uh, like, walk me through that comparison? Because from my end, I don't see any analogous like you know because when you have done Jews a thing yeah, anytime mm -hmm. you start doing a thing where you've labeled an entire group of people an enemy you've created a situation where it becomes permissible to enact violence on that entire group even if the people aren't even kind of related to the apparatus that you view as like being oppressive towards you 
That's the issue, right? So for Nazis, they identified Jewish people as being part of that and a whole bunch of other minorities. And then for these people, they've identified Israelis. Like, here's something. It wouldn't surprise me if people in the West started to feel like there was justification for attacking pro-Israeli Jews in the West, right? Because they support the same type of action as, uh, as, the, as the Jews in Israel. I've already heard from friends, this is just anecdotes, so I don't like to base too much on this, but I've heard from friends that like, for instance, if you're a young person and you go to college, like if you're Jewish, you're about to get purity tested like crazy by every single woke person around you about your stance on Israel. And that like, it could be a really uncomfortable feeling being Jewish in college. Like you don't wear that fucking jewelry. You don't talk about birthright. Like you don't do any of that shit because people instantly assume that you're a Zionist and you've got to like full throatedly disavow everything that Israel's ever done if you're Jewish in any of these groups. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I've heard that said over and over and over and over again by a number of Jewish friends that I have. But maybe they just run in different woke circles and it's different for them, but yeah. <clears throat> now, I understand if you're Jewish and like, and this is going on the last couple of days, to, to be scared, to be like, I, I completely sympathize and empathize with, um, you know, Jewish people, especially who are viewing this from outside of Israel. Um, but so, like I said earlier, they've been doing going back and forth for the last 50 years now and I've, I've heard you acknowledge that there's been atrocities on both sides and both sides are not really playing fair so to speak um so the the, the rape is going to be like that is abhorrent that's horrible um nobody should ever be even going close to defending that the uh kidnapping of children and civilians i agree with you that is you know that's all that should be off the table that shouldn't even be you know if you're even in a, a revolution or an uprising you should really uh prioritize your targets and and point towards what what you're really aiming at um now i just heard you say that 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 the problem is that all the, the all the palestinians view all of israelis as settlers wait, so wait, 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 they're all oh, the wait, same wait, wait. i never said that i said hamas no 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 no, no, no. hamas yeah, you're okay. right i'm sorry you're, okay. you're absolutely right hamas okay. yeah and then by um, proxy uh, Palestinians cheering on the last couple of days uh, the events it the optics is as if they are um, full-throatedly um, supporting Hamas now here's a question how true is that like do you have you have you seen any um, data on how how much Palestinians support Hamas like well you take the couple, last couple I'm of days not talking out. about Palestinians at all I'm talking about leftists like white leftists or people in America, in like commentators. Like on Twitter, you're okay. getting multiple tweets of like hundreds of thousands of people that are liking these tweets that are celebrating these killings. At that DSA rally, you've yeah. got people holding up like, or a person holding up like a Nazi flag on a phone. You've got speakers at these events. Yeah, we watched one in the UK, we watched one in, the, in New York City, where people are like cheering on like these Hamas revolutionaries. You've got mainstream political figures online that are like basically hand-waving the Hamas violence and championing, you know, like revolutionary action and shit on Twitch and YouTube. Like, uh, yeah, so I mean, like it's happening in real life, it's happening in multiple countries, it's happening on the internet, and it's happening with large creators. It's not just like a fringe thing. I don't know how much longer we're gonna say it's a fringe thing. I feel like when it came to the left, if people saw one guy like hold up a fucking okay sign at a factory in like fucking West Virginia, they were okay calling every single person tied to that company a fucking Nazi, right? It was leftists that constantly oh. said online, if it's, if it's one Nazi and 10 people sitting at a table, it's really 11 Nazis. Like that was their purity testing for that. So it seems like their side is on some high fuck shit shit if that's the standard they would hold other people to but true true no no true um all right so one more question and then I'll, let, I'll let you go back uh, to doing what you were doing um so I, I like over the past years i've heard people like come in and ask you like so destiny what what is your stance on israel palestine and you would always say i'm not too you know read up on everything um it seems kind of fucked up what israel is doing but i'm not going to like full throatedly uh denounce what they're doing because i don't have a, a a complete understanding of the situation and um so now that this is happening um i kind of think that this is what people have been especially on the left this is what people have been um like saying that this is like the inevitable outcome of uh, a state Israel trying to, you know, force their uh, will and their way on that whole region. Um, and like I said, I don't have too full yeah. of an understanding. Is, I usually, you know what? Yeah. Here's my take. This is my uneducated take, okay? Because there might be more reasons why mm -hmm. this is uh, maybe it wouldn't be a good solution. Um, here's what I think should happen, okay? <clears throat> the Gaza Strip blockade and everything from Israel ends, okay? It's completely gone. They can manage their own food, water, trade, all of that. 
Um, in the West Bank, most, if not all, of the settlements are withdrawn from, okay? Israel takes back the settlers. They all go back to fucking Israel. They got plenty of fucking land on their own. I don't know why they need to be there, okay? And you know what? Mm -hmm. They even give the fucking Golan Heights back to Syria, and they withdraw from that position too. And then Israel says, these are our new borders, and we're all going to live in happiness and harmony here. And that's what Israel says, okay? And then they do that, and they sign that agreement with, I guess, with Syria and... and um, Honestly, there probably have to be a lot of countries present for this. Iran were probably present, Lebanon. They sign this agreement. They say, here's our new borders. That's what we're going to do. And then the U.S. is party to this agreement. And then what the United States says is, here's the new security arrangement. Good luck. If anybody fucks with Israel, we are NATO missioning you out of existence. Okay? You're going to be Libya 2.0. You're going to be the Gulf War 3.0. You're gone. All right? And that's what happens. The United States enforces... Aren't they kind of signaling, they're kind of signaling on that right now, No, they, they don't. No, the United States largely, I don't think, really fucks with like troops on the ground like when it comes to like Israeli shit. They kind of manage their own shit for the most part. But... That's what they do. Then the United States comes and they enforce and the United States says, you know what? If you want to fucking bomb Israel from the Golan Heights, that's fine. <laughs> okay. ISIS might not have done it, but NATO will remove you from power. Assad. And we go from there. Boom. There you go. That's what you do. I don't know. Maybe maybe some sort of no. I think like the pro the problem right now that is the problem right now that Israel has is when they give anything to the people around them, they feel like they're compromising their ability to keep themselves safe. So maybe Israel needs like right. third party assurances that they'll be kept safe. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe. But uh, I don't know. I think America is probably the only country that can give that to them. Um Okay. All right. I, I have a lot more thoughts on this, but I, I, I heard you when I first came in, you were in the middle of doing something. Um yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to figure out where I stand on this as well. Like I, this is is just crazy, um, and it is very uh, unfortunate, and it's very like it just seems like this is never going to end because not only is it like tribalism, countries, this is like religion involved too. So now it's like a whole nother layer that's already always been there, but religious things are like the hardest things. I swear they're the hardest things in the world too come to okay agreement. like but, um, a little bit i've said this for a mm -hmm. long time and as i've studied more and more history i feel like i can i feel like i'm just correct on this i don't think the religion stuff matters that much i think most of this is no. geopolitical people look at this as though they're intractable religious conflicts but i don't really think they're religious conflicts i think that the issue is 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 about land territory who owns what and who's where that's how i feel right like, but do you think they can live right next to each other peacefully like for that solution you just stated, they would literally have to live right next to each other peacefully. Do you think that's ever a possibility? I mean, like, I, I, I think it's possible to do it. I just don't think I just don't think that we can chalk this up to just religious differences. I think the differences are mm -hmm. like more material and more geopolitical than that, right? Yeah. Like Iran yeah. well, and, I mean, and wait, wait, like Iran is Iran is the fucking Ayatollah, right? And then you've got um K Qatar, right? Which is I imagine it's a Gulf state. It must be a Sunni majority, right? Am I fucking crazy in that? Like, both of these people are supporting the same group, right? The, we hear all the time about the Sunni and Shia divide. Is That's the whole reason why all these countries have Sunni and Shias and Sunni and Shias. Like, but as soon as it comes to Israel, magically, a lot of these disagreements between a lot of these Arab states disappear, and now they're all cool working together. It's like, oh, you know, actually, we do kind of both support these guys. So I don't believe that this it's just a religion thing that divides these people. I think a lot of the conflict has to do with the geography, the shared land, and the finding of another. That's what I feel like, but okay. Anything else? Uh, not not right now. Um, I just wanted to let you know, like, I appreciate you, uh, you know, being patient with me because I know I'm not the most informed on this subject. And I, I, like I said, I'm trying to form my opinion. So I, I do appreciate, appreciate your patience. Um, before I go, I have been doing research, research, research about our conversation. Um, I forgot, I don't really want to have a debate about it. I just kind of want to come back in and talk to you about like the uh, gun violence and why people carry around illegal guns. We'll do that a completely different day, but I, I know you're in Sweden right now. I'll wait till you get back to you know, your, your regular schedule and we'll, we'll set that up. But uh, all right, so thank you, bro. I appreciate it. All right. I love you. Be careful. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Peace. Hey, can you hear me? I'm from my phone, so yep. it should be kind of lame oh anyhow so um i give up on western leftists yeah, yeah welcome to the <laughs> that's my us. take we gave up on them a long time ago but yeah. yeah i mean i tried i swear like i made posts a uh, couple posts like i reposted your stuff a uh, couple of uh, things you said like on twitter and i made my own like statements and it's just it's so i, I mean i know that most of my friends now uh online and offline as well are western lefties 
So I'm joking when I say I'm giving up on all of them, obviously. But uh, it's just so bad. Holy shit. Like most of them are coping hardcore. Like the ones who are not straight up uh, pro Hamas, like pro killing, dragging civilians out of the cars, raping children, women, men, and all sorts of shit. And uh, most of them who are not pro that directly, they at least are trying to somehow excuse it. Or they say that this is not a huge problem on the left. Mm -hmm. And it like pisses me off so much. This is like a, no offense to Wash, but this is like his school of thought that every authoritarian lefty or the bad apple on the left is actually not a leftist it's a far right person oh so yeah they, they can't do that weird possibly thing. even admit yeah but it's the same thing people on the far right yeah, would yeah. do that remember when people on the far right would go like oh nazism that's actually a leftist ideology because it's yes, national social exactly yeah, yeah, exactly stupid. yeah stupid yes this is same fucking shit like one we talk with kraut about that a little bit Mm -hmm. And he like basically explained the same like uh, thing to me that it, he did say that it's mostly is a Western socialist thing. So to to be fair, I don't encounter that much of this in Europe in lefty circles. So mostly like uh, Eastern European lefties, they will be like, yeah, one hundred percent leftism can lead to authoritarian shit too. Well, yeah, did, but I think you, know? you have to you probably so, be careful because <laughs> yeah. like lefty stuff. When you say Western, wait, you consider you do you consider like um, like Germany, France, the UK, Sweden. It, like is this, these are Western to you, right? Or no? Because I think in Western uh, and Northern Europe, I think a lot of those lefties oh, are. I think those lefties are more similar to the U.S. ones than the ones in Eastern Europe. Eastern European lefties, especially yes. ex-Soviet ones or ex-Warsaw Pact ones, they're probably going to be of a far different character than lefties in like Western Europe. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. But but I'd say like Northern America way worse and America in general. So South American leftists and North American leftists, uh, they seem to be living even more in America bad brain, brain road camp, which kind of leads them to supporting any authoritarian, atrocious, uh, genocidal regimes or organizations or groups, as long as they are sufficiently anti-West. That's my impression, at least. Sure, so, maybe, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't see that as much in the in Europe. Uh, in, there are cringe ones as well, but not as much. I think uh, also like simping for every empire that is not the West also doesn't exist here that much amongst. Yeah, like, that's this. an American so thing. So quite a lot American of people. Thing, yeah. yeah. That seems to be, yeah. So I pointed out the, all those things and people like got so offended on me, like because of that leftist who like read me, I guess, on Twitter. They were like, oh, why are you generalizing? I'm like, holy fuck, like your political, I, I researched it. It's not just Twitter, like the political uh, socialist uh, parties in the United States, like, uh, you know, Canada, all sorts of like uh, Northern American and even in Western Europe, they are all uh, almost all of them are either spewing Russian propaganda talking points, mm -hmm. or they are at least making some excuses for Russia, or they blame the West, the West equally. So we, they will like both side this thing. They will say like, yeah, Russia invasion bad, but uh, have you heard about America bad though? <laughs> have you heard about NATO though? And they like kind of to, you know, to remove the responsibility, accountability from Russia for, for its action. It always is the counter reaction to the, what West is doing. So yeah. Russia responds. It doesn't act. It's response all the time. And in my opinion, like the vast majority, it's not opinion, it's fucking reality. I should drop the opinion bit. Uh, the majority of Western uh, political parties that are socialist people, like ideologues, uh, famous people such as Chomsky, for example, and uh, people who are like uh, influencers, YouTubers, the major ones, most all of them do some sort of this uh, large apologia or like simping for Russia, China bit. It's just, it's just very prominent, and yep. yeah, yeah, I agree. And to me, it's very weird that they don't address it. They they don't want to. I talked with like n normal people who are like pro Ukraine, who are not seems like for genocides, Russia, Gulag, Soviet Union, nostalgia shit, right? But they still would not recognize that uh, left can lead to authoritarian stuff. I, ju I just it's just so mind boggling to me. It's obvious. It's fucking obvious. I don't treat all nationalists as Nazis. But all fascists, because they're not. But there is a big potential there, you know? 
if you're like a very nationalist, quite a far right person, that you can step into the direction of ultra nationalism, of uh, notions of supremacy of your own nation, of notions of uh, fascism and Nazism. Same shit here. If you're a socialist, it doesn't make you a uh, commie, tanky, uh, gulag enjoyer or Stalin supporter, right? But there is a road there, there is a pipeline, so to speak, that can lead you there, and it does. Most of these people who don't start as gulag endurers, they become gulag endurers through, through America bad and through apologia for other empires and other regimes and trying to pretend and believe in the fact that the West is worse somehow. Uh, yeah, it's just very, very awful in my opinion. Yep, yeah, agree. but people yeah. shit on me all the time, you know? So there's that. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Such as, but uh... they show themselves. Like, how they... How they reacted to Ukraine, how they re the Russian invasion and the uh, Russia's everything that happened, war crimes, all of it. How they now react to this uh, Hamas situation in Israel? Mm -hmm. uh, fuck, yikes, yeah. as you say. Pretty yikes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Upsetty spaghetti. Upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Just uh, your takes and loner box are, you know, at least you guys are okay and based. But yeah, uh, yeah but a lot of that. Also, also loner box showed me this like fuck second thought or something like that. Uh, he's uh, he's like I watched his propaganda North Korea simpery and like seems simping for like Soviet Union calling it ideal land for the free proletariat and all this cringe. And then he showed me him reviewing supercars. Yeah, that was his second channel. I'm not sure if it's a lack of yeah, that guy is insane too, you know? Like, why? It's, it's why? It's all this all the same, all of them. Like Hassan, this guy, they're like oh, oh, whatever. I cannot. It's too dumb. Yeah, I agree. Well, nice stream, dude. Bye bye. Be careful. Love you. I'm gonna go up somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, I love you too.